Let's discuss fertilizer. The Angote Fertilizer Plant was commissioned in 2022 with a production capacity of 3 million metric tons. Prior to this commissioning, total production of fertilizer in Nigeria was about 2.22 million metric tons. Now, uh, the Dangote fertilizer has increased the total output by over 100%, in fact, to be precise, 135%. Despite this increase, the retail price of fertilizer has continued to increase. It went from 7,000 to 25,000 naira. And we know this, of course, affects food security. So let's delve into this and find out What's the missing link? Uh, joining me for this is Abim Boladigo, analyst with a financial derivatives company, joining us from Victoria Island. Hi, Abim Bola. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So what was wrong? What's going on? If we have uh, an increase in supply of more than 100%, and yet we still have the price increasing, what's, what's missing? Okay, so normally we would expect that once there's an increase in supply, there should be a reduction in price. But it's the other way around. So now what's the reason for the increase in price? First would be the cost of production. Um, Russia is the world's la world largest exporter of fertilizers. And then we import raw materials from Russia. And since the um, Russia-Ukraine war, prices have hit the roof, they've been high. Secondly, fertilizers are used to make explosives. And then um, because of that, federal government has made it mandatory that if you want to be a supplier of fertilizer in Nigeria, you have to have a permit. Now, these people who want to buy, let me call them terrorists, that want to buy fertilizers for exclusives, they will have to go to the black market to buy from these suppliers. And then this means that they're going to be buying at higher prices. The suppliers will want to boost the prices of they'll sell at a premium, right? So um, this now causes a competitive demand between the farmers and the, um, the terrorists and quotes. So this is why the prices have gone up. Then you can say for smugglers, they're smuggling fertilizers to um, across border at a higher price because, um, no, not at a higher price, but like they're selling, they're exporting it and they're selling it in dollars. So because of the exchange rates difference, they're getting, if they convert it to the parallel market rates, they'll get a high, it's more profitable for the smugglers. So basically these are like the three fact, major factors that are contributing to the increase in price of fertilizers as I know. Yeah, a, a lot of uh, negative factors there, especially the issue of smuggling and insecurity. So what that means that even if there's an increase in production, it can hardly get to the farmers who are supposed to be the original uh, uh, users of this fertilizer. Therefore, we have seen that our agricultural production has been affected by this. Can you hear me, Abimbola? Abimbola, um, can you hear me? Can you repeat yourself? Okay, I was saying that. I mean, the, the factors yes, you okay, the factors you have listed obviously are major are major diversions of getting this increased increased production of fertilizer to the farmers. So we, we shouldn't be so surprised that our agricultural production has not increased in spite of the increase in fertilizer. Well, aside this increase, there's a um, yield is not so, it's not, we're not really getting enough yield because of um, one major reason would be the application of fertilizer, the use of fertilizers by these farmers. Um, there are different fertilizers for different types of soil. Clay soil, the fertilizer you use for clay soil is different from the fertilizer you use for loamy soil and other types of soil, cells as well. Then the, um, the crop type, the or quantity of um, fertilizer that you use for different crops, are di the, the quantity of fertilizer you use for um, for crops are different. Like if you, the quantity of fertilizer you use for maize would be different from the quantity of fertilizer you use for, let's say, um, apples and all that. So that matters. And the timing in which you use the fertilizer in the crop's life also matters. So this could affect the yield. In So basically, the main problem is that there's wrong, um, the, the main the, if I have to summarize it, is that if the application is wrong, the expected yield will not, will not be achieved, basically. So, I mean, that just means that there's a need for a more enlightenment and education among, especially rural farmers, on the use of fertilizer, or the yes. type of fertilizer, for, for, for better yield. Yes, exactly. 
All right. Uh, thank you so much, Abimbola Digun, for sharing your thoughts with us this afternoon.